Hello everybody, I've been extremely pressured on my YouTube channel through the comments on my first tutorial video to do the next one faster. <laughs> so here it is, your long wait is over. So I believe we were we left off on right after I let you guys set up Eclipse. So let's open up Eclipse again. You might have a shortcut on your desktop or something. I don't. So let's open up Eclipse. No, no, no. Okay. So this is how it should have been or should be, unless you had a file open like I did. So you want first only thing you want to do is hit client source net dot minecraft dot source. I don't know what the rest of these are. I've never used them before. And go to block dot java. Okay. If you don't have this, that's a problem. You need to re decompile your Minecraft jars with the first tutorial that I had. So, this is where everything about almost every single block in Minecraft is. Not almost, every single block in Minecraft is. That are natively in Minecraft. The stuff for mods, usually not in here. Okay? So, basic thing you should know is here public, static, final, every single block, right? Cobblestone, planks, saplings, bedrock, water moving, water still. I bet you didn't know those are two different blocks. Well, they are now. Lava moving, lava still, sand, ores, wood, leaves, pretty much everything you can think of. Even these random fields, which I don't know what they are, but yeah. Dead bushes, diamond blocks, workbench, crops, tilled field. Every single block in Minecraft. Even a trap door is here. Latest. Oh, he added blocked chests. Since when? Anyway, yeah, it's here. Everything. Well, actually, even I forgot to show you guys. Footstep sounds. Public final step sound. Powder, wood, gravel, grass, stone, metal, glass. Whole bunch of stuff, right? Metal. I didn't see that one before. Where did that come from? Well, now you know. We have metal footstep sounds. <laughs> okay. Now here is all, if you scroll down, you can see right here, scroll up, whole bunch of basic parameters for blocks, for example, block, blah, blah, blah. Step sound means step sound, return step sound, um, light quality, light value, light opacity, resistance, render as normal block, yes or no whole bunch of stuff. We're not going to get too much of that in detail. We will slowly as these tutorials progress. So, let's make our first block. First thing we're going to do is this. It's going to copy and paste a line. And if any of you guys have seen me Obrasayed on the Minecraft forums, you will in my signature I have a link to the fastest, I forgot what it's called, fastest path to modding or something. Anyway, in that tutorial, the guy wants to make made a super block, so that's what we're gonna do too. Wait, is caps lock on? Apparently, super block. Okay, and there gives us an error because may not have been initialized. Let's read that. The blank final field super block may not have been initialized. Initialized in programming terms means it's empty. Okay? If we put it equals null, null means nothing. Well, I mean, nothing is something, right? Currently, this thing has absolutely nothing. And it never will because nothing ever tells it to be something. For this, trapdoor, there is no error because all the way down here, trapdoor is equal to all this stuff. Right? So we got to do the same thing. Now I'm not going to make the exact same block as the guy in the other tutorial did, but it's going to be pretty awesome anyway, right? It has to be super. We're going to put maybe awesome in there. So, but that would be, you know, if it's too easy to misspell. Spelling is everything. Even capitals mean something in programming. So super block, right? Now let's just, I don't know, copy and paste stuff from a trap door. Control C, Control V, copy and paste it over here. Okay, so let's rename that to our super block, right? And now you see this? This is exact same thing. Is like we could run this right now. Let's try it. 
but we're never going to get this in our inventory. Why? Because we never crafted anything, there's no way to break it. I mean, it's never going to show up naturally because we haven't generated it or anything. But it will work, right? Minecraft will work fine. You can try it. Press the play button. Okay, waiting on Minecraft. Waiting on Eclipse. Okay, apparently there is a problem. I don't know what. Let's find out. Slot 96 is already occupied by Trapdoor. Right? You know what that tells you? ID problem. Trapdoors have um, block ID of 96, redstone repeaters idle and active of 9394, jukeboxes are 84, and so on, right? We gotta make this unique. Alright, so let's make that 97. Oh ho ho. And now, obviously, our thing will be done, right? So, anyway, we don't know what, what in the world the rest of this is, so we're just gonna delete all of that. Even this part, we might have changed that part. We might have changed the block ID, but that's not enough. We have to change the rest of this. I'll show you guys later. Well, right now. So, super block is equal to something, right? Let's say we wanted a um, new block stone. Okay, what you need to know, first of all, is that right here in this. No, 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 no. Did it not copy? Oh. New block stone. Let's copy that and paste it over here. But the idea is we don't want to make a stone block, we want to make our own super block, right? So it has to be, well, it doesn't have to be a block, super block. You can call it whatever you want. But it's usually better to call it the same thing. So what we need to do is change the ID over here. And we need to change the texture. Almost want it to look like stone. Stone is texture 1, dirt is texture 2, cobblestone is texture 13. You can tell what each texture looks like by, I don't know, let's go find out. Document, Minecraft mods, tutorial 1. This is our MCP folder, right? So we've got a temp, bin, Minecraft, and terrain.png. So as you can see over here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on, all the way down to so 15, 16, 17, and go on, so on, throughout the entire picture, right? So what we do know is that that is 0, I don't know what 0 is, we could find out. Mm, I don't know what zero is. I really don't. I think it'd be kind of a waste of time to find out. You don't really need to know. But number one is stone. Number two is dirt. What was cobblestone? Cobblestone is 16, which is, if that's 15, next one is 16 right here, right? And so on throughout all of these. I want ours to make, I want, I know, I want our super block to look cool, so ours are going to be this scary face right here which um, according to my counting calculations which I did ahead of time this is 120 so let's put the second number over here to 120 and last of all you can see over here material rock or material something but block stone doesn't have it why? not because of that, yeah we need this right because block stone, which is another file over here, let's look for that block stone. Block stone. It's because over here, super ij material dot rock. So the material dot rock is already specified over here, so we don't have to specify it again, right? Let's do the same thing. We don't even have to specify that. Now I'll set the hardness. Let's make it as hard as stone. Harness and resistance. I'm not quite sure what resistance does, but I do know that the more resistance, the harder, the longer it takes to mine something. So, hardness, resistance, exact same thing as stone. Footstep sound, let's make it metal. <laughs> It'll make it sound cool, like 10, I don't know. 
some kind of ringing sound, I guess. So sound metal footstep. Let's copy the uh, step sound thingy and then just change it to metal. Control C. Control V. I don't know. Let's add an extra space so you can tell where our line that we're working on is. See our super block, right? It's obviously giving us an error because we have to finish the line with a semicolon. And the moment we do that, error goes away. Or maybe it doesn't. Why? Because we need our own file for this. You know how we have the block stone has its own file? Well, we need to make another one for super block. So let's do that now. Let's file, save this file as. it. You know, what saving as does is it copies and pastes this exact same file into some another one named something else. For example, block super block. So we're calling ours, right? Super block. So poof, now it's super block. And the public blast class block stone, which was the name of the file, must now be block super block. And so on. This can't be block stone anymore. This has to be block super block. And so on. For the ID dropped, we don't want it to drop cobblestone. We want it to drop the block that we have. So what we got to do is block dot let's find our super block s u super block there you go dot block id we could easily just put 97 because i mean that's our block id right but it's i don't know it's just easier to remember what the block name is rather than the id you know no point in coming back here and looking for your block to write this down now it has an x over here because it it had an error last time it was saved. Save it again. That X goes away to tell us that there's no errors anymore. So this is our basic block thing, right? It gives it when we break it, it drops this. It's material rock, right? And yeah, there you go. What's the error here then? dot delete that token all oh, right we have two of them over here usually you can tell what you have to do by the syntax error token or whatever it is we added an extra thing over here we don't want stone footstep we want a metal footstep right let's change that real quick and I don't know let's make this glow so where's glowstone um, let's make it glow as much as glowstone glowstone um, hardness, not hardness. Let's set light value. Oh yeah, and let's also set the block name. I'm not quite sure what the block name does, but it does something. Delete the semicolon. The semicolon is indication of the end of the line. It's called super block. Right? And set light value. 1.0f I guess is f actually means float so if you take that out it's going to give you an error because it's not a float double is a decimal that doesn't have a letter at the end so you have to put an f to make sure it's a float oh, not, not control f, shift f, capital F right? don't ask me why it's one of those annoying things that Java has a problem with so anyway we got our block right we could test it right now, but we wouldn't be able to make our block, okay, at all. It would be impossible. So what we have to do is go to the crafting manager. Let's go CR, crafting manager. Um, and this over here has all the recipes, like new recipe tools, new recipe weapons, new recipe ingots, etc., etc because it has these in a separate file for example we go recipes re recipes armor as recipes armor recipes crafting recipes crafting and so on we don't have to do that I suggest we just leave it in here As you can see all the recipes are here redstone repeaters sundials compass maps buttons dispensers beds recipe sorter never heard of that one before but I guess it's there so we're just going to copy this last one, control C, add a line, paste it, control V, oh wait, we don't want to add another one, we just want room, right? 